Hi, Josh Helmich here, covering Vicenza Oro for all of you that cannot be here in person. Thomas. Thomas, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Let's talk about yeah, our like latest opponents. Yeah, let's hear about some of the latest. Talk to me about some of the latest developments that you guys have with your uh, platinum powders. We are able to produce the platinum powders. We have the complete cycle in our house and we understand the problems and we developed uh, platinum alloys uh, for this process. As we produce the powders ourselves, we atomize by inert gas atomization, we can produce all the different alloys ourselves. We know how the um, configuration of the powder is needed for additive manufacturing because we use the powders for our component production and we choose what um, is the best for one to certain application. For the jewelry um, applications, it's important to use the freedom of design, but the finishing is different. Right. And in case of the watch industry, they benefit from the high accuracy of the CNC machining. So the combination, what we call hybrid technology, is done in-house and we have customers out there using platinum applications made by AM plus CNC. Gold being so expensive now, I would think, and I could be wrong, that you would start to see an uptick in the use of platinum, specifically how much the watch industry has really exploded. Has there been an uptick in platinum usage for the watch industry? Historically, um, white, white color is more the white gold, but now gold is expensive, palladium is super expensive. Yeah. It's a very uh, valuable material, so this is now, of course, a chance for platinum materials in all different applications, jewelry, watches. You were saying earlier that your powders, they're, they're more of a universal powder, so they could be used across different machines out there in the industry, is that correct? You need to have the, uh, the right metallurgy, of course, for yeah. all marking. And technically speaking, you need to configure it a little to your machines, but yeah, this is a universal material available now for all different machines. That's incredible. Do you find with the additive manufacturing, um, compared to cast, do you get a harder Vickers through the AM versus casting the same material? Is it a little bit harder? With some alloys you have the um, opportunity to do heat treatments, for example, and yeah. increase the, the hardness. I'd say in general you have a slightly higher hardness between additive manufacturing um, compared to castings because of the very fine microstructure. Um, and when you do then the heat treatment afterwards, yeah, you get a higher hardness, but the difference is, is similar. Through additive manufacturing it is possible to work Alloys, uh, they are very hard and difficult to, to work in, in a traditional way. So we tested an, a special platinum alloy with a very high hardness. It's possible to print in the same way like the, the soft platinum alloys and it's no problem with deformation processes and brittleness with more stability. Yeah, I, mean, I see the future wide open with this technology. Well, thank you guys very much for uh, your time today and uh, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much.